just call it Apple's seeds of success. Consumers had a huge appetite for its Macs, iPods, and iPhones, pushing Apple's quarterly earnings up 67%. From July to September, Apple sold over 2 million Macs and 10 million iPods. And it looks like the iPhone, its combination cell phone media player, is living up to the hype. Apple sold over a million iPhones in just three months. Shares of Apple hit an all-time high on that news. That helped give the overall markets a boost. The Dow rang up a gain of 109, while the Nasdaq powered ahead 45 points. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson warns lawmakers that delays in enacting a temporary fix to the alternative minimum tax could cause millions of taxpayers to experience delays in receiving their refunds. Experts say 21 million mostly unsuspecting taxpayers are at risk of getting nabbed by the AMT and an average tax increase of $2,000. Well, it's not even Halloween yet, and holiday airfare deals are already gone. Consumers apparently bought early for Thanksgiving and Christmas trips, pushing prices up and available seats down. Experts say if you haven't bought yet, do it now, because airfares are expected to go even higher. There are deals to be had if you're flexible and can travel on non-peak days. That's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for more. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus.